Hello everyone. This is an ArcGIS tutorial to show you how to change your layer symbology, uh, update your map color scheme, and even show you how to change its data classification. To access our layer symbology properties, we need to right-click on the layer of our choice. For instance, we'll start with the point layer and go down to properties, and then make sure the symbology tab is selected as it is now. Under the show column to the left is all of our different customization options for how we want our data to be displayed. Uh, for this point layer though, it's initially shown as just having one solid full color. However, we can also have it show categories, or in other words, qualitative data based on like, for instance, type, type of city, like, like if it's a town, village, metropolitan area. We can also have it uh, display quantiles, which essentially is a uh, ranged color scheme with typically darker areas representing higher numbers, brighter areas lip, lip, excuse me, representing uh, lower numbers. We also have the option for uh, placing a pie chart or bar graph over each point, well, I guess over in, in this case, over each point representing whatever um, fields that, that we want to be shown. And we can also display multiple attributes. For this uh, first point layer, I do like having just a simple one color uh, background for all the individual points. However, I don't like the initial symbol they gave us, so we actually have the options of changing it. As you can see from the symbol selector, ArcGIS provides with us a multitude of different uh, symbols that, again, are all customizable. But I and I definitely do want to also create my own symbol and save it on this list for a future reference. For now though, let's go ahead and pick a template for our new point. How about circle 2? Now, for the green color, I, I don't mind having the green color as our cities, but I think it should be a little bit darker. On top of that, we also need to reduce the size of the circle, simply because it's a, it's a little too large, and it may actually obscure the other points on the map. Now, if I click the Edit Symbol uh, option here, this unlocks the symbol uh, property editor, which allows for even more customization options regarding your symbol. For now, though, I'm just going to X out of that, and I'm actually going to save my symbol as just my brand new point symbol. So we just need to give it a name as well as list the category for it. All right, and there we go. It is right here, ready for us to use anytime. And we simply hit OK, and let's hit, and let's uh, click Apply. And here we go. Our point symbols have now been updated. All right, next on the list is to update the line shape file. Now, just as a cool little shortcut, if you right-click on the little line symbol, or even the point and polygon symbol, you can then actually pull up a little color palette for you to change uh, the color of that specific. Uh, layer or type. In addition, if you left click on the symbol, it will automatically pull up the symbol selector for you, so this way you can then fully customize your sim uh, symbology. For the road network, let's go ahead and show a category symbology using the type value field, and we also need to add all the values, so this way we have a much more diverse uh, category selection for our map to present to us. As you can see, um, the count column actually tells you how many roads fall into that category. Uh, the the all other values field, since it has a count of zero, it indicates that every single value in this uh, attribute table belongs to one of those three categories. As you also may notice in the uh, layer window, directly left of the map, you'll notice that it also has updates showing each of the three types, which again, if you right click on each one of the lines, you can then customize it individually. The color ramp, which actually I clicked on earlier, uh, but didn't actually explain it, allows you to choose a preset color option for your uh, categories. Now, again, this is fully customizable, and you can even create your very own color ramps to add to that list as well. And I just zoom into this uh, south portion of Texas to show you that all three different categories are on screen at the same time. Finally, let, let's go ahead and work on our polygon shapefile. For our polygon shapefile, though, I definitely want to use a quantile uh, classification scheme. 
using the population 1990 as our primary field data. I, I could actually use a category or a f regular features um, scheme for this. However, both of them would not be appropriate as one would have a consistent color, the other one would have a multicolor spectrum that has no correlation to the data. Under the quantile symbology, we are actually able to change the way how our data is classified to our audience. So for instance, we could have equal rate uh, interval, which divides the range of attribute values into equal size subranges. We could even choose to have our own defined interval. We can, even, we can pick quantiles, which contain an equal number of features for each class. Uh, other options include natural breaks, which are based upon natural inherent groupings of the data. And we can even pick uh, standard deviation, which shows you how far or how close uh, each value is to the mean of the entire data set. For now, though, let's go ahead and pick natural breaks, as when working, when working with population data, this is typically the best option. We're also going to do uh, increase the number of classes, which shows you a much wider range of data. Uh, most maps typically only contain five to seven classes, and that is considered the norm. If you have too many or too fewer, it does create some difficulties with deciphering the color or deciphering the diversity of the data, just to keep that in mind. As you can see, our map has come a long, long way since the start of this tutorial. Now, something interesting to note, that little normalization uh, option with, with the drop-down arrow next to the value, or should I say right below the value uh, option within the symbology tab, what that is actually is, if you were to put input a value in there, say for instance, area, uh, what that will do is that will actually take the population 99 data for each record and divide it by the area for each corresponding record and the result will actually be then be reflected upon the map. Now, for instance, this actually uh, creates the population per square mile or per square meter, depending on your map units. And this can be very useful if you're looking for population density. I will go ahead and show you uh, population, uh, population of 1990 per square mile here using the normalization of the area as well. In addition, what I'll do is I'll lower the class down to five just you can see what will happen if I only have five classes instead of the more diverse seven. Go and put area. As you can see, all my values have now been updated to show population density. And even though I have five, uh, five coordinate color schemes, not all of them show on this map simply because the density uh, greatly varies, especially when under the natural, um, natural breaks method. Let me go ahead and zoom in one last time so you can see it. Alright, this concludes this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching.